Walker in the volume.com studio, Jay, Lisa, and joined by Jesse and we've got Scott Mulvihill back. Wee-hee. So good to have you guys here. Thank you. Great to be back, y'all. Yeah, I think uh, I want to say the last time you were in studio, maybe uh, a little bit later in the day, I think with maybe uh, Lieutenant Dan or Lightning Casey, but uh, it's good to have you back on the morning show. Late in the evening. Late in the evening. Late in the evening. <laughs> <It's all laughs> <Simon Joker. laughs> Uh, but no, uh, uh, so good to, to see you and have you back here in studio. Of course, as I mentioned, getting ready for the big uh, New Year's Eve show out at yes, Analog sir. and Hutton Hotel. That'll be a lot of fun. But uh, in the meantime, tell us about your 2023. Can you believe that the year's about ready to wrap already? No, I man? can't, honestly. Um, uh, well, hello, everyone out there. Um, <laughs> it's been a cool year. I've, yes. I've gotten to release an album and to go on tours. Like Earlier in the year, I was out with my buddy, um, Ben So Lee, a great cello player, and then yeah. I was I was just touring with Kevmo, and then my own headline shows with my friend Jesse here um, playing guitar with me, and so it's it's been quite a year, man. Yeah, uh, it's been amazing. I've, just kind of hit the ground running in January, been running ever since, huh? More or less, you know. <laughs> yeah. Like sometimes you look back, and maybe you can relate to this. Like you're like, I know I did a thousand things, and could I tell you what those thousand right. things are? And absolutely no. not. Mm-hmm. But um, but I <laughs> but I just but uh, you know the it was busy and the feeling was busy and because uh, all you're thinking about is the one thing you've got to do today or tomorrow. Yeah, right. Totally, you can't think totally. about the thousand yep. things you did. Totally. <laughs> or, or yeah, okay, I got this this and this done today, but I right. still meant to do that. That oh, means yeah. I've got to do that first tomorrow, and then it, <laughs> exactly. it just keeps rolling that all way, right? Yeah, Thankfully. you know, and it wasn't, yes. it was really busy, but it, it wasn't so busy that either that I never got a chance to like breathe, breathe, but also sit down and go like, Hey, why do I do this? You know, mm-hmm. like, um, uh, and, and that's, I think that was important this year f- just for a lot of reasons, like releasing a new album and kind of looking at, um, what I wanted to do as far as shows, but also just what's next is, as well. Like, like where am I headed? What, what? When you have one project done and out, it's like, okay, what's next? Now and, what? And so yeah. you have to, you do have to like reengage with, what do I want to say and what do, what am I here to do? So, um, I had some of those moments as well. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, again, we're excited to have you back in the studio uh, and excited for the show on New Year's Eve. It's another Bro. Paul Simon's Bro. Graceland show, right? <laughs> Bro. You don't even know, dude. <laughs> yeah, th- these are like the most fun. We've done this show a few times over the years, um, yeah. and and so. A, it's just the most fun music in the world. Yes. Um, and every time we've done it, it's it's a huge bl- blast. But um, we are having the original bass player from the album join us as a special guest. So, be so uh, cool. Bikiti Kamalo is his name, and he um, he actually came to the studio one time when yeah. we when we were doing this some years ago. And um, but he's a hero. Like, what? How often do you get to play with your heroes that played? The, the person, music, the creator, yeah, right. man, and, and he's so, and he's been kind enough to like join us. <laughs> so yeah. cool. I remember when we did that yeah. first rehearsal with him, and we're there going, teach us, show us, and he would just be like, "You're great, it's fine, let's go." You know, yeah. he he just wanted <laughs> to get play. in it and yeah. played. He had the, he just had all this joy. All I told joy, him he man. was our. He was our performance enhancing drug that night. Yeah. <laughs> nice. He, he made us all better that night, just yeah. his presence and being there and just getting to celebrate the music and then him playing those signature parts. Oh. Unbelievable. And uh. I, I do remember him uh, being on the morning show with you guys, and I think he was uh, here when you guys weren't on the morning show as well, but nice. I made sure to tune in just because to hear the stories that he had to tell mm-hmm. about he was there in the yeah. studio and the kind of the way that it all came about. Yeah, and when uh, he was talking a little bit about when you've got a legendary artist like Paul Simon, you think that, okay, uh, am I going to be good enough? Am I going to play the yeah. notes right? You know, right. play this one, then play that one, then play that one. Mm-hmm. It was more of like a, you know, no, you you find your way. You feel yeah. your way through the song. And then it was like, okay, he'd play it through. And it's like, yeah, let's do that. Let's Go ahead. That. Let's roll yeah. tape, you know? Yeah. And and that was Graceland, which is is uh, which is so cool. So uh, uh, in, again, is it Bikiti? Is that the right Bikiti? Is Bikiti his name, Kamalo. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Also, uh, some other special yeah, guests going to be joining. Some great you. guest, Bo Reinhardt, who's um, who he goes by Koi Roy with his solo music. He was also nice. in the band Need to Breathe Forever, yeah. and um, one of the brothers in that band. And Bo will be there. Beth Nielsen Chapman will be there. McKenna yeah. Hartland. Um, Baird, who is a really talented songwriter, dude. Oliver Steele, a singer who is. Yeah, 
Um, incredible voice. Uh, yeah, it's it's a what stacked, a celebration. It's a yeah. She sounds like completely. a big smile. The oh yeah. Whole time. Hey, yeah, let me tell you something. I've never I've never had a fun New Year's Eve. <laughs> I've what? I've never had a good New Year's Eve. And and like usually I'm at my parents' house in Texas where I grew up, and I'm like twiddling my thumbs and we're toasting with the neighbors, and that's great. We love that. Cute. It's great. It's um it's wholesome. But the uh, but. But this is like the first New Year's where I'm like, I think I'm going to have like fun. I you know? feel uh, the fun. <laughs> yes. The intention is there. Yeah, yeah. The motivation is there. Yeah. I'm like, I I was earlier talking about how I was nervous. I was supposed to be going to New York City for New York New Year's. But oh. because of everything that happened last year, I'm like, then well, you're gonna what's going to And then I'll just go to Graceland. <laughs> Sorry, if, I interrupted you. Please, please no, continue, no, but, but that's that's pretty much the take if anything happens. I have plans now. Just the okay. just the value just of that album, you know, thirty something years later, it still sounds like it came out yesterday. I think. Yeah, I, I, it's just it's such a fun. rich, it's, fun, yeah. positive, real yeah. creation. The that, whole tapestry of, it really from is. start to finish. I mean, you've got songs that sound kind of similar, and you've got songs yes. that sound like they could be on com two completely different albums. But that's yeah. what makes an album like they Graceland so great, yeah. start to finish. And yeah. I, te I text Scott, I'm just like, I can't believe this is my homework right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, could, I couldn't be happier. It's like, this so is my fun. homework, just to just to totally swim in this music for a few days and then get to do it with some of your best friends. It's yeah. just like, one of the happiest things ever That's in the it. world. So uh, you guys are we're all dialed in, sounding great this morning. So are we going to... we gonna. Play a couple yeah, from, uh, do from Graceland. Is that what we're going to do? Let's do Diamonds on the Souls of Shoes. There Again, it is. All New right. Year's Eve analog at the Hudden Hotel. I mean, come on. There you go. We got Scott Mulvihill and Jesse here live in the Volume.com studio at Lightning 100. She's a rich girl. She don't try to hide it. Diamonds on the soles of her shoes. He's a poor boy, empty as a pocket, empty as a pocket with nothing to lose. Sing to na na, to na na na. She got diamonds on the soles of her shoes. To na na, to na na na. She got diamonds on the soles of her shoes. Diamonds on the soles of her shoes. Diamonds on the soles of her shoes Everybody knows what I'm talking about. Everybody here knows 
exactly what I'm talking about These diamonds on the soles of my shoes Hey! So yeah, we were, yeah. You, so you passed the test. Passed you did your homework, it. Jesse. Right. Great job. Right. We got How could you not just doopy doop? Honestly. You know, it's that perfect tempo just for people to bounce. Yeah, you know, in just a room. bounce yeah. along, yeah. drinking so your drink, times, you know? cheers in your charcuteries. Uh, <laughs> sounding so great here uh, on the radio, live in the volume.com studio. Again, we've got Jesse and Scott Mulvihill uh, joining us, and you can ring in the new year with Scott Mulvihill and friends as uh, they once again play Graceland. To ring in the new year, this is a this is the first time that you'll actually be doing it on New Year's Eve. Is that oh, right, yeah. Scott? Yep, yep, yep. yep. Uh, this is the first time I'm having fun on New Year's Eve. Like, <laughs> yeah, oh, that's right. Just in general, you yeah, know, that's just, that's that's kind of a big thing yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There'll yeah. be lots of crowd participation. Oh yeah, I feel like so that'll oh, yeah. be even more fun. That's right. Uh, Analog at Hutton Hotel is where the show is happening on New Year's Eve, uh, and get those tickets uh, while you can. But uh, sounding so great, the I was just. I mesmerized watching you play the fretless bass. Oh, thank is you. that something that? Uh, so when for those that listening, maybe that aren't familiar, you started playing pretty young as well, a kid, you know, right? I I started playing as a teenager, which I mean is is young, you know, I guess. But uh, some people start when they're five or whatever. And and I started when I was fourteen um, on the bass guitar, and so I was, you know, later than some music kids, but but I just loved it a lot when. Whenever I started, I, I was kind of like one of those kids with all the intense hobbies. You know, I'd be like, I'd like, if I was skateboarding, oh my god, dude, I was skate. All in, yeah, yeah, I was all <laughs> in, bro. And, uh, and and so I was. Um, so when I found music, I was just totally Obsessed. captivated, and and uh, and it really did take over my life, like instantly, <laughs> honestly. Like my friends were all like, we don't see you without a bass guitar anymore. Uh, and, and I was just like, like if we were hanging out, I would just bring it and you know, we'd be playing board games. I'm like noodling and, and um, so and anyway, I, I was, yeah. So the bass guitar, it was my first instrument and 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 then I started playing the upright bass too, which I play a lot, but the, yeah. the fretless is kind of like, it's like the it's the bass guitar's weird cousin, you know, <laughs> who um, you don't like, like you see twice a year, and and uh, but but it's great but it's, when but they're you're around. like, hey, you're cool, actually. Yeah, uh, <laughs> no, I I love playing the fretless. It's um, it is a different animal in a way, you know. It's not totally different. It's just, you, but because there's no frets, you're you're having there's no to, cheating. Right, you got to you got to yeah, know where on the I neck, suppose, not just because of that suppose, fret, right? Yeah, I mean it's it's. I mean, you slayed it. I watched it. 
It was very good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but that's that's hilarious. So you went from skate to live, live to skate to live yeah. to play, play to live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you get it. Oh, I yeah. get it. Oh, I, yeah, I went through and my skating sh- phase and for sure. And at the show, you'll hear two fretless basses going. Oh, yeah, you will. Well, some songs because oh, wow. of the great bikini joining us. Yeah, man. Oh, that's going to be... So, it is really entertaining to watch you play because, I mean, it's probably no, nothing fancy for you because you're just like... Bah, bah, bah. But it is. It's it's like thank you, thank you. Fun. No, that's very kind. I mean, I I have like it's. Here's the thing. After all this time, it's still it is still just so fun. Mm-hmm. And and like there's there's nothing else I'd rather be doing. Mm-hmm. And um, and so yeah, pretty much any chance to like play my bass and do my thing and sing and whatever, I love that. And then the fact that that show is gonna be so um, it's just so stacked. You know, as far yeah. as like. When it is, what it is, who is there, and it's and and in the band too is is ferocious, yeah. ferocious, ferocious. That's, and that's how you say such that a word. Cool venue too. Yeah. Like it's oh kind yeah. Of dark and yeah, mysterious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it, and analog is amazing, and and the people there are rad too. That run that place, they're mm-hmm. they're great. Like really great. Yeah. So I just um, I'm really thankful to have the opportunity to do it. So. Yeah, and yeah. again, uh, thanks for talking about it. Great way to ring in the New Year. As this is all happening on New Year's Eve out at Analog at Hutton Hotel. But uh, well, we got you guys here in studio, and we've got about thirteen minutes of show left. So yeah. can we get another song? Absolutely, from you guys? absolutely. Yeah. Well, I said this earlier, but I also released an album. Um, yeah, earlier in the oh. uh, well in October. So. Um, so I was thinking we could play one yeah. from that. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, why not? All right, here we go. Scott Moldehill live in the Volume.com studio on Lightning 100. Um, well, this record, um, like I said, came out in October, and it, it was just a uh, it was a long process of recording and, and making this album happen. Um and some of these songs, this one I actually wrote in 2021, right. but yeah, but uh, well, I think you'll get the concept of it. Um, kind of a uh, love lost thing. Um, June was gonna be Colorado. Then your birthday in July I promised we would see California But August always seems to fly Not that any of the plans we made would matter now My mind is on the past that I try not to think about I can't understand why people love the summer I'm burning in the heat I'm sweating in my covers alone But come the fall, you and I will still be over I only want one thing Can we go back to last October? Last October We had moments in the sun Never thought that they would pass It's true that some things never felt right I didn't know the days would disappear so fast I can't understand why people love the summer I'm burning in the heat I'm sweating in my covers alone But come the fall, you and I will still be I only want one thing Can we go back to last October? Last October Before I told her Before I told her To last October Before I told her That we were over We were over
Boom. There Very it is. Good. See, I usually get broken up with in October, so I don't really want to go. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> this, is, this is from... <laughs> well, we'll put uh, this song on every yeah, yeah, put it and on then, every you know, Yeah, this be is better, from the, the this is the point of view of your jerk ex boyfriend. There who, we go. Who, and he and see he misses you and, he, and so he's like he's like, Lisa, please. And you're like, not a chance. Yeah, pretty much, uh, definitely not a chance. Fool me once, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, no, no, it sounded so good. Yes, Thank you. sounding great. You guys, uh, you're not usually up. Or like nine o'clock hour mm -mm. doing rehearsals. Just time. Not, like, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, I'm I'm on a strict practice regimen, five to seven. Yeah, um, right. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah right. Five, five to seven a.m. Yeah. We, we just, just, we just practice out in the hallway. What yeah, we're like, about? what should we do? Uh, oh yeah, the bridge. Well, because we've been playing this, uh, we've been playing this song on tour, uh, but uh, mostly with the band and like the whole thing. So it's like. How do we turn it into something for two? A duo. No, that was good. An electric that duo. Well, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> that's that's one thing I love about playing his songs. You can do it in a lot of different ways, and it's still got a lot of still got a lot of power behind it. Yeah, oh, thank you, that's bro. what's really we pulled really it fun. off live on the radio. You, How about it? Got the ingredients. That's, well, I'll listen back. Uh, we'll listen back yeah. and be like, "Did we pull it off? Did <laughs> we? <laughs> we did it live on the radio. Did we pull it off? <laughs> yeah. You'll see the when the sales I, commence. Yeah, 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 that's right. That's yeah. right. When you're yeah. Well, and speaking of the the record is called Survive, um, and so it's uh, you can find it on all your streaming stuff. Scott Mulvihill Survive. That's yeah. and that was last October. Um, <laughs> You know, uh, sorry, I'm doing your job. You know? No, you're doing great. Keep That's it, right. keep it keep coming. Setting them up. That's right. ScottMulvihill.com, uh, the website, of course, uh, to uh, well to get the music and to maybe get some cool merch. You got merch available. Got some merch. There you go. Some. Yeah, and how do we get the tickets? That right from ScottMulvihill.com. Oh, Lisa, yeah, I'm analog. so glad you asked. Yeah, analog yeah, yeah. at Hutton <laughs> Hotel, uh, ringing in the new year again with. Uh, Another performance of Paul Simon's Graceland uh, featuring uh, Bikiti Kamalo, who was the original bass player on the original album. Uh, and as Scott mentioned, uh, Beth Nielsen Chapman also uh, going to be joining the fun. Uh, Makina Harton, uh, Hartland as well. Uh, who else is on the bill? Let's see. We've got uh, Bo Reinhardt, Jeff Taylor. Is that right? Jeff Taylor. Taylor? Jeff, Jeff Taylor. Taylor. Our hero, Jeff Taylor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He, a a long, long time founding member of the Time Jumpers. Yeah. If you've ever seen the Time Jumpers, he is the he's the wizard on the accordion and keyboards. And yeah. So so great hero a, of ours. Yeah, totally. Like he really is a hero and mentor for me and Jesse both. Um, and and Jeff, well, Graceland has a bunch of accordion on it that is you need you need it. You know, like it's irreplaceable. And so I was yeah. like. I'm like Jeff. Please say you can do this show because um, I don't know what we would do without you. Because because he'll uh, bring your squeeze box, buddy. Let's right. do bring it. Right? Squeeze box. Stay imagine? up past midnight with us, yep. Jeff. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah, and don't forget. Not only is it going to be an amazing show, it's going to be Scott Mulvihill's best New Year's Eve ever. Yes. He's yeah. already set that I, up. I mean, he I knows. really think that's true. Yeah. <laughs> I, I it must have figure out a way to top it later, but I don't think that's I will, right. you know? <laughs> you know? Hey, hey, look, if I walk through life and I only get one good New Year's, hey. let's make it this year. It's, yeah. Yeah. I it's, love uh, this positive outlook. I'm fine with that. I don't need, yeah. New Year's doesn't need to be fun. Holidays, <laughs> holidays are like, you know, you're set up like, oh, we're going to celebrate. Like the, the expectation is way up here, right? right. So, it's a lot. So that's, that's why... Um, I'm usually like content to be like it's New Year's Day or New Year's Eve, and and I'm not doing anything because I you know I will set myself up for um I get anxiety for sadness. Uh, I don't know um, why. <laughs> but uh, this one I really I know we'll have fun because yes. yeah there's uh there's no two ways about it. So, All right, we'll get your tickets um, while you still can. Yeah. Again, uh, analog at Hutton Hotel. Uh, looks like uh, the show is good. Well, doors open at eight. Show will start at nine o'clock, and then yep. it says uh, two a.m. Or thereabouts. Will well, be, uh, so yeah, and in in fact, what we're our portion of that, um, we've got a couple hours there, so we'll feature all the guests, and you'll hear me do some songs, and each guest do a couple of their tunes, and then fun. and then we'll blast Graceland at the end, you know, and just like, I mean, party, like, party. Mm -hmm. That's the last Everyone hour. Will be that's, a little bit that's of like, in the that's sauce. Like five, four, three, two, one. Happy New burr, Year. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> <laughs> I think yep, everyone is going to be down. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. going to be a lot of fun. You just want to make sure you get your tickets while you can. Yes. Uh, they are available now. Again, uh, the big show 
Analog at Hutton Hotel on New Year's Eve. But uh, Jesse, Scott, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having us. Always great to have you here in studio. We we we, love you guys. We love you guys too. And uh, looking forward to the show on uh, New Year's Eve. Ring in 2024 with Scott Mulvihill and friends out at Analog at Hutton Hotel with your friends at Lightning 100.